Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of programming in web technology. Today I will discuss about JSP creation of a small web application using JSP. I am Dr. Astos Kumar Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. So first of all, learning objective of this lecture is to implement small web application of database connectivity and data storage with entire technology. However, in previous lecture, we have discussed about JSP component and JSP tags. First of all, you can see this program. So the objective of this lecture is to develop a small web application. So directly we are talking about the web application. So here order form dot JSP is a program name, name of the program. So we are doing here a JSP code that has table containing item price quantity total price. So these are three field item price quantity and the fourth field is total price. So now you can see the program. The program will start by HTML and then head portion inside head we have title a catalog order form and title is closed and head is closed you can see in the second line. Now in third line we have started the program by body so by body tag it is started and we have mentioned here heading so this heading is h1 heading 1 align center heading will display on the center of the page uh, center of the line not page and that heading is an order form and heading is closed by slash h1 now you can see this red portion red text in red text we have mentioned here we have declared here variable so the first variable is item second variable is price and third variable is quantity item is a string type its type is a string and the price variable its type is double because the price may be in decimal point also and third one is quantity it is in in integer so quantity always be integer in integer form so uh, either we will buy the item in full or not so the first variable that is a string item it is array variable all three variables are the array variable item price and quantity so uh, uh, we have mentioned here three values so, so the first item is toaster second item is cd and third item is pen drive so uh, we have stored the value of all three item in the array item and their price accordingly price of toaster is 19.99 and price of cd 12.99 and price of pen drive it is 1.99 so uh, these three values are stored in the price array the type of price array is double and accordingly the item name are stored in item array and third is the quantity so these three quantity are 2, 9 and 20 so these are stored on quantity array so 2 means the 2 quantity of poster we are buying and 2 quantity of 9 quantity of CD and 20 quantity of pen drive we are buying so this is this is array so we have already stored the values inside the array but we can we can directly access these value from database also now see the table now we have started the table so <clears throat> these value of three array we will place on the table so first of all we will design the structure of table so table align center so it will display in the center table will display in the center and background of the table is yellow and now table row the first row of the table so the first row of the table is heading row so we will start it by the th so we have mentioned here four pairs of th th item table heading item and slash th table heading price slash th table heading th quantity slash th and the fourth one is the total price so we have these four headings of the table so we have designed we have structured the first row of the table where item price quantity and total price will display so when you see the table then you will find these 
four headings on the top of the table now we have to place all three values of three array item price and quantity in the table so we require array of we require loop of three for three values we require loop of three so here in next slide you, you can see here we have for loop of three for integer i equals to zero i less than three i plus plus so it is array of three so three times this for loop will run and curly bracket start and percentage will close this this jsp statement will close here and then html statement tr will start and then td so uh, in previous slide you can see here th table heading are there uh, we have four table heading and in this next slide you can see here four table data four time we have mentioned table data so for each table heading for each heading each head we require four table data so the first table data is item i i position means zero position because the array of three so we are uh, extracting the first position means zero position and then price zero then quantity zero and in the fourth place in four table data we uh, are calculating price into quantity the amount we are placing here so amount equals to price into quantity price zero position into quantity zero position so these two multiplied so the value of uh, these two uh, 19.99 multiply 2 so it will display 99.99 multiply 2 in the fourth fourth place fourth place of table data and table will close and curly bracket will close uh, curly bracket of for loop will close and again this for loop will move in the first uh, first line where i now i will be one so second time this loop will run and now this time i will be one in the first time i will be zero and the second time i will be one so uh, it will find the value of the one position of item and price and quantity so one position in one position we have cd we have 12.99 its price and the quantity nine of this cd so accordingly these three value will display uh, again uh, when we will come on this loop for loop second time and then uh, price one into quantity one the multiplication of one position of price and one position of quantity it will be multiplied uh, so we have the output is uh, 12.99 into 9 it will be the output of this one this fourth position and again this curly bracket will occur and then we will move to the for loop and now this time i will be one and i will be two uh, in previously it was one and now it will be two so this two is less than three so third time it will again run and it will find the value of item one price one and quantity one accordingly item two price two and quantity two so in the fourth place it will multiply price two into into quantity two so accordingly four value will be displayed and uh, this is this uh, is the complete program where we are placing the value of this array into table so uh, this is a small web application which will be display the data of array into table and directly we can find this data from sql table and and after extracting that data from the sql table it will display on the tabular form of uh, this screen of jsp of web page so this is a small program now client server connectivity so always uh, when we are talking about the web technology about the web so we have one web client and another one is the web server so uh, through as tcp ip or uh, internet we are connected with this uh, web client and uh, through the web server so message in the form of requests in the form of http requests it will move through tcp ip to uh, this server web server it will move from web client to web server and server accordingly process the request and then reply or response back uh, and through tcp ip it will uh, received by the client this uh, message response so this is the client server network between 
client and server between it is called two tier technology where uh, where one is client uh, and another one is the server so it is called client server model the two tier model is more simple but more uh, limited than three tier model so two tier model is also known as client server model where the server can be something other than the database so uh, here the entire application is generally run on the client machine uh, we don't have to move physical side of server we directly uh, process our request through our client machine but actually it is processed by the server so this is called client server model and three tier technology this is called client server model and um, client server model is also called two uh, tier technology and now three tier technology where, where we have one more tier is also added so uh, so this one more tier is the database tier mainly so one is the client tier and second one is the middle tier and third one is the database tier so the database tier manages the database uh, uh, like suppose we are doing the client server connectivity so in that case you can see here Uh, we have two tier one is the web client and another one is the web server so uh, the communication is between communication uh, happens between web client and web server but when we have more uh, one more client one more tier like this like this this is the example of uh, three tier technology we have web client that is tier 1 and web, uh, web server tier 2 and tier 3 that is you can see here in the diagram that is tier tier 3 that that may be the database catalog database and database management software order fulfillment and payment processing any system so this is tier 3 this database uh, tier this is called database tier so tier 1 is the web client tier 2 is the web server and tier 3 is the database uh, so mainly it is uh, tier 3 so this is the diagram of message flow in the three tier client server network so this three tier technology one is the database tier another one is the middle tier and last one is the client tier through client tier we connect with the middle tier with the server and this server middle tier is that connected with the database tier so uh, so the database tier manages all the database so it is very important and middle tier contains the most logic and communication between other tier and client tier is the interface between the user and system so this is the diagram of client side technology uh, three tier client server technology so tier 1 is the web client so accordingly uh, when we send the request to the web server so web server is just like a catalog server and this uh, server uh, is this server send the request to the further catalog databases and other Uh, database management software is uh, there so it is connected with the database and uh, then it it connected with the another database server so accordingly these database server filter and then extract the required information which is asked by the web client to uh, web server so this is uh, client server technology means entire client server technology three tier client server network so the um, uh, learner i hope you understand this uh, system uh, what is the difference between client server technology and uh, one tier technology and two tier or n tier technology so we have implemented a small web application in this lecture and client server connectivity as well as processing request at server and in next lecture we will discuss about some Uh, other client server network and uh, connecting from client side to the server side so uh, we will discuss about uh, this so thank you learner thank you very much